The history of the Jews in Brazil is a rather long and complex one, as it stretches from the very beginning of the European settlement in the New Continent. Although only baptized Christians were subject to the Inquisition, Jews started settling in Brazil when the Inquisition reached Portugal, in the 16th century. They arrived in Brazil during the period of Dutch rule, setting up in Recife the first synagogue in the Americas, the Cajal Zur Israel Synagogue, as early as 1636. Most of those Jews were Sephardic Jews who had fled the Inquisition in Spain and Portugal to the religious freedom of the Netherlands. In his The Wealth of Nations, Adam Smith attributed much of the development of Brazil's sugar industry and cultivation to the arrival of Portuguese Jews who were forced out of Portugal during the Inquisition. See History of Pernambuco Hashtag Jews in Pernambuco. After the first Brazilian constitution in 1824 that granted freedom of religion, Jews began to arrive gradually in Brazil. Many Moroccan Jews arrived in the 19th century, principally because of the rubber boom, settling on the Amazon, where their mixed-race descendants continue to live. Waves of Jewish immigration occurred first by Russian and Polish Jews escaping pogroms and the Russian Revolution, and then during the 1930s during the rise of Nazis in Europe. In the late 1950s, another wave of immigration brought thousands of North African Jews. Nowadays, the Jewish communities thrive in Brazil. Some anti-Semitic events and acts have occurred, mainly during the 2006 Lebanon War such as vandalism of Jewish cemeteries. Brazil has the ninth largest Jewish community in the world, about 107,329 by 2010, according to the Brazilian Institute of Geography and Statistics census, and has the second largest Jewish population in Latin America after Argentina. The Jewish Confederation of Brazil estimates that there are more than 120,000 Jews in Brazil. First Jewish arrivals There have been Jews in what is now Brazil since the first Portuguese arrived in the country in 1500, notably Mestre João and Gaspar da Gama who arrived in the first ships. A number of Sephardic Jews immigrated to Brazil during its early settlements. They were known as New Christians, conversos or Moranos, Jews obliged to convert to Roman Catholicism by the Portuguese crown. The Jews from Portugal avoided immigrating to Brazil, because they would also be persecuted by the Inquisition. Most of the Portuguese Moranos took refuge in Mediterranean countries such as in North Africa, Italy, Greece and the Middle East, and others emigrated to countries that tolerated Judaism, such as the Netherlands, England and Germany. Many Sephardic Jews from Holland and England worked with the maritime trade of the Dutch West India Company, especially with the sugar production in the northeast of Brazil. The first Jews who arrived in North America were Sephardic Jews who after being expelled from Brazil by the Portuguese, settled in the American Northeast. In the final decades of the 18th century, some Moranos came to southeastern Brazil to work in the gold mines. Many were arrested, accused of Judaism. Brazilian families that descend from the Moranos are mainly concentrated in the states of Minas Gerais, Rio de Janeiro, Pará and Bahia. Most sources state that the first synagogue of Belém, Shaar Hashemane, Gate of Heaven, was founded in 1824. There are, however, controversies. Samuel Ben Kimmel, author of Eretz Amazonia, Os Judeus na Amazonia, affirms that the first synagogue in Belém was Eshel Avraham, Abraham's Tamarisk and that it was established in 1823 or 1824, while Sha'ar Hashemame was founded in 1826 or 1828. The Jewish population in the capital of Grau Pera had by 1842 an established necropolis. <laughs> <laughs> Agricultural settlements Because of unfavorable conditions in Europe, European Jews began debating in the 1890s about establishing agricultural settlements in Brazil. At first, the plan did not work because of Brazilian political quarrels. In 1904, the Jewish Agricultural Colonization, supported by the Jewish Colonization Association, began in the state of Rio Grande do Sul, the southernmost state in Brazil. The main intention of the JCA in creating those colonies was to resettle Russian Jews during the mass immigration from the hostile Russian Empire. The first colonies were Philipson 1904 and Quatro Hermaus 1912. However, these colonization attempts all failed because of inexperience, insufficient funds and poor planning, and also because of 
administrative problems, lack of agricultural facilities and the lure of city jobs." In 1920, the JCA began selling some of the land to non-Jewish settlers. Despite the failure, the colonies aided Brazil and helped change the stereotypical image of the non-productive Jew, capable of working only in commerce and finance. The main benefit from these agricultural experiments was the removal of restrictions in Brazil on Jewish immigration from Europe during the 20th century. Other 20th century developments By the First World War, about 7,000 Jews were inhabiting Brazil. In 1910 in Porto Alegre, capital of Rio Grande do Sul, a Jewish school was opened and a Yiddish newspaper, Die Menschheit, Humanity, was established in 1915. One year later, the Jewish community of Rio de Janeiro formed an aid committee for World War I victims. Congregação Israelita Paulista, the largest synagogue in Brazil, was founded in by Dr. Fritz Pincus, who was born in Egilm, Germany, Associacao Religiosa Israelita, now a member of the World Union for Progressive Judaism, was founded by Dr. Heinrich Lemley, who emigrated from Frankfurt to Rio de Janeiro in 1941. Attitude towards antisemitism Brazil strictly condemns antisemitism, and such act is an explicit violation of the law. According to Brazilian Penal Code, it is illegal to write, edit, publish, or sell literature that promotes antisemitism or racism. The law provides penalties of up to five years in prison for crimes of racism or religious intolerance and enables courts to fine or imprison for two to five years anyone who displays, distributes, or broadcasts anti Semitic or racist material. In 1989, the Brazilian Senate passed a law prohibiting the manufacture, trade, and distribution of swastikas for the purpose of disseminating Nazism. Anyone who violates this law is liable to serve a prison term from between two and five years. Law number 7716 of the 5th of January 1989. According to a U.S. Department of State report, antisemitism in Brazil remains rare. The results of a global survey on antisemitic sentiments, released by the Anti-Defamation League, ranked Brazil among the least antisemitic countries in the world. According to this global survey conducted between July 2013 and February 2014, Brazil has the lowest anti-Semitic index, 16% in Latin America and the third lowest in all Americas, only behind Canada, 14%, and the United States, 9%. Topic: <laughs> Present day Jewish community. Brazil has the ninth largest Jewish community in the world, about 107,329 according to the IBGE 2010 census. The Jewish Confederation of Brazil estimates that there are more than 120,000 Jews in Brazil, with the lower figure representing active practitioners. The current Jewish community is composed by 75% of Ashkenazi Jews of Polish and German descent and also of 25% Sephardic Jews of Spanish, Portuguese, and North African descent. Among the North African Jews, a significant number are of Egyptian descent. Brazilian Jews play an active role in politics, sports, academia, trade, and industry, and are overall well integrated in all spheres of Brazilian life. The majority of Brazilian Jews live in the state of São Paulo, but there are also sizable communities in the states of Rio de Janeiro, Rio Grande do Sul, Minas Gerais, Pernambuco and Paraná. Jews lead an open religious life in Brazil and there are rarely any reported cases of antisemitism in the country. In the main urban centers there are schools, associations and synagogues where Brazilian Jews can practice and pass on Jewish culture and traditions. Some Jewish scholars say that the only threat facing Judaism in Brazil is the relatively high frequency of intermarriage, which in 2002 was estimated at 60%. Intermarriage is especially high among the country's Jews and Arabs. There has been a steady stream of Aliyah immigration to Israel since the nation's foundation in 1948. Between 1948 and 2010, 11,586 Brazilian Jews immigrated to Israel. Topic. Size of Jewish communities in Brazil Other smaller Jewish communities include 
In the state of Pernambuco, Arcoverde, Camarajab and Olinda In the state of Rio de Janeiro, Barra do Pirai, Campos dos Goitacazes, Macaé and São João de Mariti in the state of São Paulo, Araçuaba da Serra, Araraquara, Boituva, Garatinguada, Itu, Maua, Praia Grande, São José do Rio Preto, Taubaté, Ubatuba, Valinos and Vinhedo See also Dutch Empire Dutch Brazil Jewish Agency for Israel Kahal Zur Israel Synagogue List of Brazilian Jews List of Latin American Jews Oldest synagogues in the world Hashtag Recife, Brazil History of the Jews in Latin America Brazil-Israel relations History of Pernambuco Hashtag Jews in Pernambuco References Topic. Further reading Lesser, Jeffrey Welcoming the Undesirables, Brazil and the Jewish Question. Berkeley, University of California Press. ISBN 0-520-08413-6. Peroni, Geraldo. Outcasts from the Kingdom, the Inquisition and the Banishment of New Christians to Brazil. In Paolo Bernardini and Norman Fearing, eds. The Jews and the Expansion of Europe to the West, 1450–1800. New York, Bergen Books 2001, 242–54.